to head to Oregon, baby? Let's go get her done. Go get her done. Go get her done. Just leaving Reno out of the uh, Sparks Marina. And we're headed up to Oregon to uh, Rain Rock Casino in Northern California by Wairika and then on into Oregon. Should be a pretty decent day. So from the Sparks Marina RV Park, just outside of Reno, Nevada, up to Rain Rock Casino up by Wairika, that's about a 250 mile drive. And it's a small little casino with a parking lot that's got uh, places to park RVs. That's a pretty good day's run. We'll generally slip in a books on tape. Find out, I need you to tell me about that murder from 29 years ago. But on a good day, we get to our destination and I'll ask Pearl, well, are you about ready to pull over? Or you got any more left in your tank? And generally more than not, she'll smile and say, I could go another hour or two. So we go to plan B and just keep on driving until she says she's had enough. And I find somewhere to pull over and boondock or park in a parking lot or whatever. Well, we made it to Oregon, baby. Been a long day, huh? Had a fun day so far. You ready to see the ocean again? How soon do you think we'll get there? Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Going to Seven Feathers tonight. Okay. Right. That would be good. We'd be glad to get there. Glad to get there. Pretty nice. You can tell we're up in Oregon. Got all the mountains and trees. It is pretty. It is pretty. Not quite as green as I anticipated it. Some spots. Gonna keep getting greener and greener. It is, it looks like it. Yep. Lots of mountains. Does it feel good driving again? It does. But I'm ready to call it a day. Ready to call it a day, huh? Call it a day. Hot diggity, you gotta love a good travel day. Almost 400 miles, and one of the best things is at the end of the day, we're here at Seven Feathers RV Park. It's right off Interstate 5, right on our way to uh, Eugene, Oregon. And it's got a huge parking lot, all set up for RVs, for boondocking. We always just spend one night. They've got a restaurant there, and it's pretty decent. And uh, obviously a big casino. And they have a pay for it. RV spot too with uh, full hookups if you want that but free is a little bit more my comfort level and as you can see it's a uh, five days you can run your generator they got quiet hours you're far enough from the highway it doesn't bother you so uh, it worked out pretty good one travel day down now we just got to run up to Eugene and uh, get some work done on the RV and then hop over to uh, South Jetty one of the thousand trails RV parks that we stop at So we've heard about this elite coach renovation and repair up in, it's in Harrisburg, just north of Eugene. And in 2014, I think it was, we took our coach there to have our big slide worked on to, on the uh, driver's side because it was making a loud popping noise. And uh, we'd heard that they had a fix. And they do. They take the slide out and they put a forklift and they raise it up, pull the bottom half of the slide out and just tilt it up they say you don't even want to look at it because you'll think you'll think that they're ripping your slide out but as it turned out the little rollers that they put in go on the end of this channel and as this gear pack turns around brings the whole slide in and sends this uh three inch tubing uh, up inside the coach this roller fell out, and you can see it. We found it down by the gas tank down underneath. So you can just imagine with that roller gone out of it. It's just a two inch roller, but it holds that sliding piece of metal, that three inch pipe, channel pipe, off of the housing there. And so it's just metal on metal. Luckily, the front roller fell completely out. So it was smooth metal on metal, and it wasn't so bad. This here is the rear slide uh, support. And on the rear slide, the roller didn't fall out, just one end of it broke off. It was sticking up, gouging. And that's what caused all of these gouge marks, screws marks. Sometimes the slide would just stop. And I can assure you, 
when the slide stops coming in on moving day that's going to be a bad day but we worked through all of that we talked to the guys at uh, elite restoration and their original modification lasted from 2014 to like 2018 so four years somewhere in there those rollers came out and uh, they said that's never happened before but they fixed us up it's working just perfect now and i think in 2014 it cost 2500 dollars for the original modification and they took a thousand dollars off of that and they redid it for fourteen hundred dollars i think it was so we're happy with that uh and we're real happy that the slides coming in and out so now we've pretty much got all of our issues uh take maintenance issues taken care of and uh, we're headed over to south jetty well we made it to south jetty and guess what was waiting for us more rain rain that we was here a couple of weeks and it rained virtually every day except maybe one or two but we had called uh les schwab about a month before we left yuma and ordered some tires we wanted to get our rear six rear tires replaced they were eight going on nine years old so it was about time and uh, they said they'd order them they'd have them there waiting for us and sure enough when we got there the lady called us a couple days later said your tires are here are you ready bingo next day we was in got the tires on took a couple of hours at the most 3500 bucks for to get all six of them replaced and les schwab service seems to be the name of their game and they didn't disappoint us here in uh and the icing on the cake no sales tax in oregon so that saved a couple two or three hundred bucks the next day i went out to check the tires just to make sure that they were exactly where i wanted them come to find out the inside dual on the passenger side showed no air with my tire pressure monitor so i got a tire cage zero air I, so finally i called uh, les schwab and said hey i i got a flat tire i just drove a couple of miles to the campground and uh the next day it's flat she said we'll have somebody out there right away and they did within 20 minutes the guy pulled in and it's raining like the dickens and he went to work and i got to hand it to that technician he did everything he could think of to try to get that tire aired up to find out what made it go bad uh, he ended up taking it back to the shop and putting it under water so he could look for any kind of leaks and then brought it back and he said the tires fine it's got to be your valve extension and he had checked that before but apparently it just wasn't working and i got two or three different kinds you can see here and i use a donut to one of the wells there so that uh, the extension doesn't wobble a whole lot but apparently this one had gone bad so he advised me not to use it and said it wouldn't be under warranty if he had to come back out so i went ahead and put it back on and i kept an eye on it and it was doing a slow leak so i ordered a new extension got in a couple days and put it on and that's been six weeks now everything's working perfect so if you do have a use a valve extension be sure and keep an eye on it we've never had a problem we've used several different kinds never had a problem never lost any air but obviously they can so we'd already made the appointment for the tires we knew that expense was coming and the slide we've been anxious to get that fixed for a number of years so we were excited to get that had that scheduled but this little jewel our hydraulic pump that uh, controls our power steering and our radiator fan i saw that last winter as we was getting ready to uh, head out for our summer travels i was getting the coach all serviced up and i cleaned it cleaned off the first layer or two of all this oil and then figured out that it was engine oil and was coming right out of that gasket with a hydraulic pump mounts onto the engine and i'd handle that later but we i was sitting there walking around the coach at south jetty and i noticed oil spots all over the back of the coach and i checked my oil and i'd burned about a half a gallon of oil in the 12 or 1300 miles or 1500 miles it took to get up here so I decided I better do something. We, there's a Cummings place just outside of Eugene. So we took it, I drove over to Eugene and asked them could they fix it? And they said, yeah, no problem. It'd be about a week or 10 days. I made an appointment and I picked up some uh, exhaust manifold gaskets because I had an exhaust leak and that's pretty easy to do. So I came back uh, and we was gonna take the coach in whenever we leave South Jetty. Well, lucky me, I, the bolts, I'd done this about five years ago and it went just fine but the third bolt that i started undoing i broke the bolt so i called cummings and asked them when they fix the oil leak can they replace my exhaust manifold gaskets they said yeah so we had that all scheduled come to find out 
the exhaust manifold is warped which is pretty common and uh, I've got a son-in-law that can uh, plane that out and make it level uh, so it'd be just fine but I decided to go ahead and just put in a new exhaust manifold what was it common get it fixed get it fixed right and get it fixed in one go so that's another $3,500 but I think right now we know of no more issues that we got on the coach everything that we're aware of is pretty much taken care of so we got our fingers crossed we hop on the road and we're headed to Whaler's Rest so you ready to get to the ocean baby I'm ready to get there ready to settle down in an RV park where we've got some full hookups yeah then we get to walk right to the beach at Whaler's Rest we're yes. headed and that's where she really enjoys having fun on the beach yeah and hopefully we'll get out of the rain Yes, please. Yeah, pretty quick. Well, not long, 35 miles. <laughs> Campground Whalers Rest just outside of Newport, Oregon. We're in our we've got our favorite campsite. It's uh we got internet, we got our satellites going, everything's going good. And on top of all of that, I got a rack of ribs on the smoker, so here pretty quick we'll be having a nice dinner and things are going good. The trip up to uh Whalers Rest has been smooth as silk. There's no oil on the back of the engine cowling so that oil leak I think they got stopped and the exhaust leak is sounds good it's gone away life just couldn't get a whole lot better we one thing we like about Whaler's Rest it's just a hop skip and a jump to the ocean on the south end of the park there's a little trail that leads you there it's less than a quarter mile five minutes or something like that in uh, beautiful sandy beaches And kind of find out some of our best friends are up here Charles and Abby they spent the winter in Oregon and uh, they just happened to be here at Whaler's Rest so we got to kick around with them we got to dinner several times life is good and we got some sunshine so that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video we're going to head on up to Seaside and then over to Chehalis and we'll be here another couple of months hope to get out another video here in a couple of weeks but until we see you guys again next time Keep the wheels rolling, stay safe, we'll see you at the next day. So long, folks. This was our site. scares me.